All right, to set things up for a Node.js application, and assuming we're logged in, we want to go over to App Services, Create App Services, use the Web App template, Create, and now we can see we're able to create a web app. So we need to pick a name. So let's pick out a testing simple node one. So that's good. We get the green check mark so that that subdomain on azurewebsites.net is available to us. That's how we'll be able to access the website once it's up and loaded. And then we want to use the free trial subscription and a resource group for now, just choose to create a new one as a sample. Think of a resource group as a logical grouping of all the different things you can create in Azure can be grouped into one name and that way you have easier control in managing that. Uh, in terms of the service plan, it ties into your subscription that you have. So leave it the way it is and then keep application insights off. Last but not least, we want to pin to the dashboard so we can see the progress and then click create. After a few seconds, we'll see that this blade goes away and we go back to our dashboard and we get this new icon now showing the web app that we wanted to create is being deployed in Azure. All right, so that deployment succeeded. I'm gonna close my notification window and it brings up this view in Azure showing us the web app that we created testing simple node one. What we wanna do first is test out that everything is up and running fine. So we'll click on the little browse icon this opens up a new tab going directly to that subdomain on azurewebsites.net and we can see everything is up and running as we expected. So that concludes this video for today. In the next video, we'll talk about how we can load our Node.js source code from GitHub into this new web app resource that we have in Azure. Thank you for watching.